Well, hello there, my gardening friends and Earth family. Greetings. Welcome to another garden update video from my backyard. Today is an absolutely gorgeous day and we've had really nice weather and everything is growing in and looking amazing. So I thought I would take you around. Now today we're starting from the back operations, I guess you would call it. Back here is where I am storing all the plants that I've been growing that are getting ready to go in different places as I move things around. And then this is my transplanting area. So we'll take a look around. You can see how everything is growing in. Now I haven't even updated or I haven't uploaded the last video yet, which was the day after Mother's Day. So I'll be uploading that video and then I've got this video, but there's such a difference in growth between the two videos. I thought I would just do this one, even though I don't have the other one. So where do we want to start? <coughs> Excuse me. Well, let's start in my favorite area. This is my meditation garden area. Just, I just love it. It's very peaceful and calm. And I've got lots of food growing and beautiful things to look at. And this is where I sit and plan my day or make my phone calls or do whatever, whatever I need to do or plan my, my next move in the garden. And uh, let's see, so I moved this hummingbird feeder here. I haven't seen any activity with it yet. Uh, not like the other one. You can see all the gorgeous flowers that are starting to come in. So we're ramping up to, to the time when this is gonna look its best. And then, then it goes over the hill and then everything starts to look overgrown and then the weeds become an issue. But I do try to keep up with the weeds. I'm out here as much as I can to try to keep the weeds out of the borders and out of the beds because I'm not using any straw or hay or anything or, or mulch or anything in the beds right at the moment. I haven't gotten my hands on any. That's kind of like my next project. I'm trying to make my own, but in the meantime, I need to um, get something else to put down on these beds to conserve water because when I water the garden, it takes me a very long time. And I just got done watering today. And since everything is growing in so well, that it needs you know more water and we haven't had that much rain at all only a half an inch over the last i think two weeks and i keep track i have a little um measure that i keep in the garden so that i can measure the amount of rainfall but i still spoil them with you know with a lot of water because i want my stuff to grow well but i feel like i would be more responsible if i was conserving water in a better way so that's my next project to work on but in the meantime, we're making it work. And you can see over here, this bed is doing pretty good. We've had some cold nights. Uh, we've had warm days, but nights that have gone down to 40, 42, 44. So the peppers are not doing as well, but the tomatoes don't seem to mind that at all. And this side is a lot of cold weather stuff and this doesn't mind it at all. And we have been harvesting almost every day from that collard green there and I've already picked out some of the beets that are in there I've harvested some of the lettuce and in the back there's kohlrabi and we've got uh, leeks and garlic I don't see the leeks getting bigger but they're behind the kohlrabi and then you can see the flowers are all opening I mean look at this it's beautiful everywhere you look it's beautiful and this is this is what I wanted this is what I wanted to do I wanted to see beauty everywhere beautiful nature now this area I still have to work on I'm still working back here I still have things to plant I still have stuff to clear out um, but it's still growing in like this is the echinacea garden that is growing in very well getting taller and there's a volunteer uh, kale. I think that's Russian kale, but I'm not sure. Some kind of kale, Sib um, not Siberian kale, but 
of maybe blue curly kale. And then the dianthus and the yarrow. And I harvested a whole bunch of everything already because I dry them for dried flowers. So all the dianthus that you, or sweet william that you see everywhere. I have them all hanging in my basement. And you can see the valerian there. Now look how tall that is. That is way taller than I am. It's beautiful. I am not looking forward to our very first um, storm that we have because a lot of these things that are super tall, like the columbine over there, and also the uh, chamomile and the larkspur, they all take a beating when we have storms and the foxglove especially. So I try to protect it with bamboo poles, but, and the, and the delphinium as well. They get beat up in the storms, but we have been so lucky this year. So because we've been lucky, now normally I do lose a lot of things from storms, but we've had really favorable weather and you can see that when you look around here. You can see that in everything that's growing. And we've harvested so much food. Now I'm not keeping track of poundage wise I'll be doing that in the future I'm still really learning as I go especially about all the medicines that I have in here I'm learning everything I can ins and outs uh, because I'm I've been taking uh, herbal medicine classes and also garden design and maintenance so I'm getting all these different certifications and trying out everything as I go applying uh, my knowledge hands-on because it makes more sense for me to do that so over here I mean where do I even start this is a lettuce that's gonna flower it's gonna be absolutely beautiful I'm just leaving it there I really want to put uh, okra in this bed because okra grows nice and tall and it'll be a really tall statement piece for this bed you can see how it's all growing in real nice and I have the different levels of everything I, I try to layer it in so that you can see individually what I have there and nothing is too much crowding in each other although I try to control it the best I can because a lot of these things like the oregano will just grow and grow and grow oh I have some sage burning over there that's it's burning a lot I'm gonna have to go take care of that just trying to clear the air now over here, this is catching my eye. Look at this, the rose bush. I've harvested a whole bunch of these as well because I make my own rose petal tea. So all the roses that I have in the garden, I use them for tea. I mean, everything, all the chamomile. You can see all this chamomile. So I harvest this when they're nice and big. So let me show you what it looks like when they're ready. This one, that one right there. Um, they get even bigger than that. The yellow section in the middle will get even bigger and puffier and that's when I would harvest them. And if you continually harvest them, you, they will continually grow until they run out of energy. And over here I got some beans that are taken off now that the weather is getting a little warmer during the day, warmer at night, although with the cold weather, the lettuces like that over here, my lettuce family, they like the cold nights. So does the kale, so do the peas. And the peas, I don't know if the camera is picking up, but we have so many peas. And then behind there is all little radishes underneath. There we have some broccoli. We had a really wonderful broccoli salad last night that was really good and that's red cabbage there's another garlic family because i love garlic and i use it in my tomato gravy that i make as well so look at this isn't this beautiful that's where i sit i got my roses here look at that my husband is a genius like instead of buying me like just a bunch of flowers he'll buy me a bush like this like all the roses that are here my husband bought me and now I have roses like all the time like <laughs> it's so nice I love it I love it well, all right so let's go see over here because 
this is amazing too. Isn't that beautiful? I don't know if the camera's picking it up. That's Maltese Cross. That is just starting to open now. So is the salvia here. Just starting to show us its purple colors. And here's the strawberry bed. There's so many strawberries. I don't know if you can see them. We had an amazing year so far. I mean, we're not done yet. We have lots more to pick. I just invited the neighbors over to come and pick some make some recipes. My daughter made a really, really delicious strawberry, uh, she made strawberry lemon bars with her friend last night. Boy, were they good. And yesterday I made strawberry preserves, except I did not use pectin and it came out to be like strawberry syrup, but that's okay because it's delicious. Look at the blueberries. I have a bunch of bushes. There's one there too and then we have these getting swallowed up by all the flowers that I have here so I'm gonna have to cut all of these back like a lot because I want to keep enough room for all of my blueberry bushes so let's see have I gone everywhere I think I have you can see the tomatoes. Oh, the broccoli. There's some more purple broccoli next to its green broccoli. We've been just eating that as it's ready. Swiss chard. Some more green broccoli and cauliflower. We got edamame here and yellow wax beans. Some more tomatoes. So my project for today is get these peppers in the ground. And then we've got some more bush beans, all different kinds of bush beans. We got Jacob's Cattle, Calypso, and a Dragon Lingerie bean. So they're all very cool looking beans. I can't wait to see what they look like growing. Oh, Coreopsis, hello. Hello, the first one over here. There's more that opened up all the way back there. Can you see them back there? They opened, oh, I don't, did I go this way? I got stuff every, oh, I didn't go this way. So this is next to my hot tub, but I made this screen for myself with just stuff that's growing, all different kinds of things that are growing. So I have some privacy because I just found out for Mother's Day, my husband and my son are gonna build me a pergola for right here that has screens for the side and I'll be able to have that privacy that I've been looking for. Yay. So I guess one last thing, I'll show you what I've been working on over here in my gazebo. Now this is nice and shady. The temperature just, it's like 10 degree difference over here. So at night it looks really nice. I put the lights on. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. I've been working on this wall back here with my branches, my flowers, and then I just put some lights behind there. I'm trying to hide the gazebo. I don't want to see that when I have company over and when we're all sitting here having a good old time chatting. But my teenagers come out here too and they think it's way cool. So I'm very glad about that because if they're here, I know they're safe and I can keep my eye on them. All right, so that's the update. Look at the doggy. She loves it out here. That's today's update. I hope this video inspires you to get outside and create some beauty for yourself. I mean, look at this peony. Look at that. I will never get bored of look. Oh, I didn't even show you these. Oh, that's why I like sitting there. <laughs> because I got all of that beauty around me. And I guess the doggy likes it too. All right, well, until the next video, have a wonderful day.